Hello there guys, this is Purposeart and welcome back to this Minecraft world. As you can see I haven't actually even left it, I've just left it overnight as it's running there. And I'm just here with a little bit of ideas of other things to do in Minecraft. So, there's a creeper there. So get out, close the door, yep you'll see me, so we'll bring him across over here. To us I don't really too mind, too mind, mind too much about sand. Try and kill him. Run forward, hit, and run back. Yep. Gives you gunpowder to make TNT. But what I did notice was, after you've got a little base kind of secure, oh look, I've actually trapped a trapped a horse. I don't think a horse can jump two blocks, but and he's fell into the fence. Perfect. So there's horses I've trapped as well. Um, I thought um. You may as well maybe go and view other lands. So I decided to go on my boat across here just to see. This is just going to be roughly half an hour episode, and actual perfect. I can see something in the distance here, and it is a village. So I've got the pig farm, and I did say the only worry is that I will need some. I've got any torches with me? I do have yet. Yeah. And the only worry is I would need some carrots. Well, perfect. There's some squids here. I don't know if squids can break the boats, I've never actually broke a boat to be honest. So perfectly found a little village, oh and there's sheep which is even better, oh and I'm not used to going in boats, so let's see, eventually I will probably actually, the boats still break if you run into it, no. So there's some sheep, so I'm going to kill some, I need three wool. There's one, two, three, and you get mutton as well. Now I did notice there was lots of sheep over the hills, so I usually keep a free hand and speak to them. Weapon smith, 17 coal for an emerald, a 6 for an iron axe, two 16 coal, uh, an iron with unbreaking 2, it's not bad. I've never saw one in the water. Now if you find a blacksmith here, or a weaponsmith they call it, there is usually a chest. Yep. So let's get rob him some have I got iron boots? No I don't. Perfect. Some saplings, let's see there's houses up here. A butcher, one emerald and fourteen chicken. Armour 22 and that's for, how many was that for a helmet? 6, it's not very good to be honest. And you're the toolsmith and efficiency 3 and silk touch for 6 emeralds. Now that is absolutely amazing, so what I'm going to do to be honest is light up and I'm going to go and jump out here, call me suicidal. Um, and I'm just going to light up round about because so I don't want any zombies to go here and kill them because I quite like this place let's get some good villages and this is actually nice I've never saw a kind of water village to be honest up here is there anyone up here today no could make some more doors but I'm not too bored. I've spoke to you. Oh, it's what four for that. So what's here? Potatoes. And to be honest I usually just rob all the food. I do plant some more. And just let them there we go. I won't plant potatoes because I don't have any potatoes normally on me. Let's make it the bucket I need. If I, if I go caving. So here's lots of carrots. And I get 46 of them so... The pigs will love me now, yep. 
That would be nice. Up here, what's this? More potatoes. There's my boat. Yep, so I was there. Let's see, there's a wee house over here. Nobody's in it. I'm surprised there wasn't a farmer. At least I never saw one, but oh, I've not been over there. That's a weapon smith that I spoke to. And you have two smith, yep. More wheat. Nobody in. No one in. More potatoes, 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 and carrots. A weapon smith, seven for an anax. And what you weapons with seven for an hour. So this is basically full weapons with. Not the best, but it could be a lot worse to be honest. So I don't need to steal all the food. I've got enough potatoes and carrots that'll do me. So I'll just go across here. And eventually what I would do, I might do just for a little kind of tutorial, is transport the villagers over to my island and make it, they uh, like start to make an iron golem farm so as I've got iron but yep there's lots of land so that was pretty good for the first 10 minutes of the video here we've found a village if I, don't, I wish I knew the village was there first and I went in the last episode let's just take some wheat and our way Get us some more seeds for our farms. And there we have it. So we will just turn. And yep, there's a dog shoot. We really should have went to just for the purposes. So I will go across here for a little bit more. Just see if there's anything nice. See, there's two sheep there. But. Yeah, and a couple. So they will start to breed again. There's my little house to us, it's actually really close. And over here, it's just lots of trees and things, nothing overly special, I don't think. This is handy if you need any sand or dirt, really. Just come across and start collecting. And so, no, nothing. Major, so I will just turn back and on my way back. Have a look, there's nothing I can see over there. So, the boats are pretty good, it's only cost you five wooden planks to make your boat, so it's pretty good to go around and see things. And you can see me rowing away. So, um, to be honest, after you've done the initial half hour or so to speak the first half hour of Minecraft, don't get me wrong, it will take some people an hour to do what I've done and it will only take some people 10 minutes to do what I've done, I spent a lot of time looking for a good area then going to get wood, a lot of people would have got wood then went and get the area, I might end up joining these up so, dismount and where's my wee hole, because I'll plant some more stuff but first I need to have I not got any dirt? Iron shovel. For some reason I thought it was stone there. So let me check how much dirt. 15 dirt. Just come away, I'll go and get my wee hole. Oh, I've got a chicken in there, I forgot about that. Because it worked in the first time, if I remember correctly. And the sugar cane, I did say I was going to plant you. Is there any more seeds? Ten seeds there. And the potatoes. And I'll bring a wee stack of dirt. And that's me, yep. I'll bring a stack of dirt just to make it a better farm. No. Right, 
Now the farms work better. Now this is, I think it was actually Mumbo Jumbo, the YouTuber that actually that when I knew about this, is if you do that's wheat that's already down, then potatoes. If you farm in lines, apparently they grow quicker. And he tested it. I think it was Mumbo Jumbo. And what can I say? It seemed to work. So let's punch sugar cane. Sugar cane has to go next to water. Now they can go on dirt or sand. Apparently people think they grow quicker on sand, but that has been proven otherwise. So there we go. There's our Scottish farms. And oh there's our chickens in there. Yep. And the pigs. The horses I think it's golden carrots you like. That's how you start to where's the gate? Learn to ride a horse. You do that and then you can put a saddle on him. And it's night time so we'll go in and we've got some stuff that we can furnish, some raw mutton. Let's take this glass out, put it in the chest. In fact we've got let's make a bed. Three and three, that's just a white bed. If you want a certain type of bed you can get different colours to dye your wool. So yeah. That's us sleep through the night, so once you're sleeping through the night, it's always a lot easier to do everything else. Don't get me wrong, sometimes through the night I just decide to go underground and mine or whatever. So what will we do here? We've got 16 iron, nothing amazing. We did get a couple of diamonds. You can use bones to make bone meal and there's a tree saplings, oak saplings nine and they do make the trees grow or anything grow quicker actually like there's potatoes fully growing already but thanks to that but they do also work on trees oh, and the grass so just make sure you do actually clip the tree and yeah, that's it. Grow into a big tree. One, two, three. One, two. Oh, uh, only ten, two. And I've got ten oak saplings. It's only nine. Oh, well, so that's what to do there. So I've got fifteen torches. And I've got some tools. In fact, I'm going to go and make some more torches just now. And I will go in the cave just to show you what I do in caves as well. So this is just a kind of, not an exactly, I wouldn't call it an advanced tutorial because it is still very basic stuff, but the first 15 minutes, eh, the first half an hour, apologies, was just to show what's the best way to start off your world. So put that back in. So 51 torches. I've got 6 food. A lot of sword pickaxe isn't doing the best, but I'm not planning to be down caving forever, really. So that looks like it, the cave also starts here. Or is that just a little bit with water in it? If you if you see sad like that, if you break one, they will all fall. I think even if you stand on them, it happens as well. But I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Now the good thing about horses over here is you get horses and donkeys. Donkeys you can actually put chests on the side of them. Now I do hear a zombie. And it's probably yep. So I always put the torches to the right. And then when you're leaving, because it can get confusing. So if you put your torches to the right or to the left, whatever suits you. And uh, so this cave led to nothing. But notice torches on the left, so I know exactly where I'm going. And to be honest, down here doesn't look 
and it's an amazing arrow. Oh, here we go. So there's some iron, nice and easy. And then you come around. I do place a lot of torches. I like to see that was just a bat. Don't worry about that. Pretty rubbish as well, actually. So the bat, just leave him. They don't hurt you. And then I go and collect the stuff after it once I've made sure that the place is safe. So, three more bits of iron. And there was some coal, yep. So that'll do. To be honest, I didn't have much coal left. Perfect. So we'll just come out now, I think, really. Just let them all fall. And that, is it anything else round about that I remember? It's one I was just in, so not. To be honest, oh, there's a nice wee sand island. Sometimes it's quite good to actually just go underwater and look. Sometimes you see good things, other times you don't see much actually. No, nothing much under there that I noticed. So we'll just head back and we'll eat actually. And we need to put torches round about our base and make it a bit more level. I like to make things kind of, they don't need to be completely levelled, but I do like them to be roughly levelled and to look a bit nicer than what it does. And once we get pumpkins, I don't think we saw any pumpkins. So I'll just put torches round about just now while I'm before I can sort it all out properly. That will stop from spawning, put a couple in the fences, put a couple round here. So that they still grow at night time because they only need light, it doesn't actually matter whether it's the sun or not. Uh, we'll see if we get pumpkin seeds. I don't think we did see any. Oh, we did. And have I still got a hole? Yep. Now, pumpkins work slightly different. I'll just put them in a row and plant the seeds. Now, they will spawn a pumpkin to a normal side next to them. So for this, this one will go here or here, but that one can only go there, as can that, and this one's got a choice of three. And that's where they go, I would have saw the season came towards me, yep. So we'll use a shovel while we've still got a wee bit of daylight left. Just to make the place a bit nicer, to be honest, I'll probably end up getting rid of the sand and replacing it with dirt, and maybe gravel would look nicer. Well, there's some hills in the distance, far yonder hill, so maybe we should explore them, I suppose that could be the other episode, exploring that side, <laughs> to be honest even though I was cursing it at the beginning, we have been pretty lucky with where we came, where we spawned, uh, there's our shovel gone, <laughs> I've never noticed that before. Now, let's get sadder here. Now, sad does affect gravity, as I said earlier, so it's pretty good for filling in water if you want to fill it in completely like I do, because it will fall down. And uh, we don't need that one there, so it goes here. And we don't have enough there, so if we do that, we don't need day ones up there. No point in getting to make a shovel just for this, we've only got a couple of minutes left. Now it looks like the, the pine, is it pinewood trees are called? Yep, well it's also kind of sandy as well. Full place seems to be kind of sandy, or full round about here.
Yep, so that's it looking a little bit better, I suppose. A little more leveled off, and as much as I hate doing this, we don't need the horse. So we've got some leather. The tourists will probably kill this horse as well, we don't need it. I've even dropped anything. Terrible noise, you might be now dying, but I've never dropped anything, which isn't very good. So, call and put iron in there and dirt there. So we've got a lot of dirt, we're doing pretty well. To be honest, overall, we are doing well with resources. Now, I usually I don't always make the full roof glass, but I usually at least make some of it glass just. So you're protected, but you could easily see whether it's sunlight or not. And I'm going to make tools. Now I won't be using gold for tools because, to be honest, gold isn't very good for tools. It, don't get me wrong, it's fast, but overall it's not good. So, two pickaxes, a shovel, um, and axe and a sword. And we've got four iron ingots left, but I've already got boots of that way. Three here, seven. Make a helm. In fact, no, we'll make the leggings. And they'll give us more armor. So, what do we not need? We don't need stone. Something's at eggs. We're picking up the eggs, which are pretty good. Um, potatoes. We've got enough potatoes, so why don't we bake some potatoes? And you can eat them, they're pretty good to eat. And that's about it really. You can also make the wheat into bread, which is nice. I say nice, I say nice as if I have it myself, but... And torches, we don't have any torches. So I'll go there, sticks and... Torches. Right, to see, I don't think you can. No, you can't do that. So we'll go down here again. I will sort that out at some point. So we've got 20 minutes into the recording, so we'll do about another wee 5 minutes down here. To me, it's still the quickest way to getting anything that you need. And I'll put the sword. There and a shovel at the other side of it. Yeah, I like to keep all my tools near and then foods at the other side. Perfect. <laughs> so, when we came across, we went there and here. Now, in here was where we found the diamonds and everything. Now, the only problem is we need some blocks to get up and go across. So we'll mine a few blocks here that we don't need to fill back in. Then that will help us get across because I like to stay at the same level if I'm going to cross unless I find like a cave system like this one which I thought it was. Uh, oh, we found some redstone as well. Perfect. An 8 vein of redstone. Nice. That'll get us 36. But yep, so we'll just collect a few more bits here. Some granite would be lovely. To be honest, granite and andesite and diorite as different blocks that I don't actually think I ever use. Yep, and cobblestone. And you mine across, and it's more dirt and granite. I'll just, yeah. So that's us back on track. Coal up above us. I'll just wait a couple of minutes and then I'll come back for it. Gold as well. Sometimes I do this, then I come back collecting my way back. So I don't need to worry in case I run into any monsters. So we'll go another little bit. 
and this is me just doing what I call the kind of mother strips and then eventually just to show you what I will do is I will start going across this way and I don't leave one block then go I leave two blocks then I go because to be honest for all you're missing isn't that much and it saves a lot of time and then I do the polar opposite on this side or maybe not the polar opposite but I just do the same in there and here and then eventually I'll run them for ages until I either find caves or I just keep running them until I find something good and usually beyond as well so go on another two torch worth I usually just stand in the edge block and it's usually five blocks you can mine across I do that then I usually place a torch just keep it nice and lit up I don't care really it's only torches found some more coal since we found something there we'll go one more will we find anything nice nothing there and not nothing there so what we'll do is we'll all just collect the coal let's see how many coal we can get from this slot the next slot and the gold I'm hoping for about 20 coal at least with fortune without fortune it's not very good I prefer fortune with coal because you get so much more I think you got up to about four bits of coal per ore here I might actually have oh, iron as well even better so that, oh and redstone that's why I never miss out coal you will always use it at some point because you're always going to need furnaces and the fact that that coal got me I had 36 redstone so I'm at now 59 so it got me 23 redstone 7 iron and at 24 coal as well perfect now I'm just going to cover these bits here that might end up becoming one of my strip mines but I do always cover it up anyway just so as I know if it's a strip mine what isn't sometimes I actually put doors in my strip mines just to make it even more clear so eight gold cover that up and coal was above us yep now be careful with mining above you especially in here there's usually lava kind of anywhere can be above you beside you what a good way is to know th that is if you go to sounds show subtitles on now even though we listen to music footsteps experience game brick breaking but no mobs or anything and it actually kind of acts because through the walls if you hear mobs and that in fact in my single player I was just tried the subtitles on because I heard it works and it was saying it kept coming up minecart rolls and I was on single player so I knew it wasn't as if it was somebody else and when I actually went and no, it prepares the back takes off this way it sounded like so we'll go this way and see if we can hear anything um, and actually the minecart rolls ended up back takes off to the left so we'll check that out no, nothing and it turned out to be a mine shaft with the minecart roll and it must have been just the wee noise it makes so that was pretty good it let me know there was something nearby and you hear it I think it says zombie groans skeleton I think it shakes but I don't know what a creeper sound is I'm more cool and it back takes off to the right which I personally couldn't hear If I bat takes off to the left now, I don't actually know where it's meaning. It could be above me possibly, I don't know if it actually differentiates from um, top to bottom. So we'll fill them in. Torch and I'm going to go until this pickaxe breaks. So it will be slightly longer than half an hour but that's fine by me. I just want to kind of find some zombie groans or something now that I've said that I maybe should have put it on and just went across until I saw them so yep sometimes I play with the subtitles and I don't get me wrong sometimes it can be annoying 
Right, back takes off to the left. Oh, I was up. Lava plops, it said. Lava plops to the right, so you know there's lava nearby. Back takes off. Anything here? No. So I'll just call that off. Now, lava was in front of me. So we'll go and hopefully we'll hear lava soon. I see it. Because usually with lava, that means that there will be something, whether it's a ravine or. Actually, I think I saw a bit there. I think it kind of bugged out a bit. I thought I'm maybe just making things up. I can hear it a little bit. And it must be ahead of me because it's not picking up. So that lets you know there is lava near, uh, near you. And, yep, usually with lava there's a cave and I heard spider hisses, yep. So that's why the bot bottle's there. And I'm actually going to explore this cave a little bit just because the last one was rubbish. So we've got spider hisses, skeleton rattles. There's nothing behind us in our skeleton. And there's the bat. And that was a witch. Person I'm going to stay away from the witch. And uh, once I hit him, nip, he'll pop down here. And I did hear a skeleton the other way. And and run away with the witch. Personally, I stay nowhere near witches. Because the potions. That's a potion of slowness. And she's poisoned me, so the poison won't kill me. And if you press E, it used to tell you. Aha, poison, yep. And I just missed a creeper there, luckily. While well, you're poisoned, if anything hits you then, the poison will never kill you, but if anything else hits you then you will die. Redstone here, which I never noticed at first. And while I'm waiting on my hair coming back, I'll dig a bit more, it was showing more lava, yep. Yeah. So, this extra 10 minutes or whatever, 5 minutes so far anyway, one episode is pretty good. Pretty deadly. And to be honest, I'm actually going to go and light up this bit a little bit. There. So, personally, it's uh, usually good to tackle a spawner with more armour. And it is a spider spawner. And the chest is good. I think I actually maybe picked up something from earlier. Now I'll go here in case I spawn in just outside it. Sometimes you can technically spawn outside the actual spawn area. Now never ever destroy a spawner. Oh, I've no more torches, that's what's up. Ooh. A portion of instant health I must have stole for her. Perfect. Um, some bones, a bucket, some string and horse armour, which is good, obviously no ex no um, explanation there is needed. But never destroy a spawner because you can always make a farm from it and to be honest, I will make a spider farm. I'm not sure what way I'll do it, but I'll make one for the next episode. I'll, I'll have a look and maybe I'll go on my creative world and work it out, and I'll just blow this water off. Coals up there, but I'll just go back here and collect everything. And then we'll head back up, skeleton rattles behind me. So that is how useful the subtitles can be. Now don't get me wrong, sometimes I do personally get annoyed by them, because it's like, it says your oh, spider's hissed, and you know it's hissed, but that's how annoying it can be. And also in a cave, if you see cobblestone, and especially mossy cobblestone, Enderman whoops, you know there is a spawner nearby, so tread carefully because you don't actually 
get just normal cobblestone. You have to mine stone to get it. It never generates just average cobblestone. So be very careful when you see cobblestone because to be honest the spider spawner is not the worst to encounter. The spider and the zombie to me I think is the two kind of easiest. The skeleton one is one you don't want to encounter. And there's you get your obsidian if you need it. So we'll run back and over a stack of coal, 15 iron, over a stack of redstone and 8 gold. Then we got some, what did we get, gunpowder, bones, arrows and quite a bit of string and another 